Well, hello, hello, and good morning. How are you today, today, today? We've had a lot of rain and storms. I hope the children in Florida are safe and they're having a lot of time for reading because of the hurricane. But today I am so, so elated, so happy to be back with you. We're starting a little late, but hey, better late than never. And we are excited that we are moving on along with our reading. We are almost to the end of the alphabet. And then we are going to add some new features to our Read Time with Baby. This is Dr. Yannette with another episode to connect with you and to help baby open up a world of learning by connecting those neuronal connections in the brain nice and early so the baby can um, have vocabulary that he or she understands and when he or she reads can participate intelligently my goodness my goodness my goodness how are you doing and i hope that you have been reading every day you have been dropping everything and reading every day with baby and moms and dads are reading as well and the brothers and sisters are reading as well so that the family benefits from reading have you ever been in a situation where you don't have anything to say i hope not because if you have been reading you'll have lots of information to share lots of knowledge you'll have the ability to connect and associate when people are having conversation you can make those connections to life and your experiences so last time we met we did read time at night because we were reading a book about night with the letter N and today I want you to reflect on whether you have introduced your nighttime read to baby do you read a nighttime story a bedtime story for baby when it's time for bed I hope you do and if you don't make it a part of baby's routine baby gets a shower he or she gets her his her her clothes changed and nicely made up for bed baby tucks into bed and you read a nighttime or a bedtime story and kiss baby good night and baby knows that that's what happens every single night and he or she follows that routine now enough 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 of talking let's get to our letter for today our letter is the letter O. let's turn this around O, lowercase o and uppercase o o says o if it's a vowel if it's a if it's a a long vowel sound i should say and o says ah uh, if it's a short vowel sound o the letter o it's something that baby makes easily that's one of the first um shapes baby can make a circle squiggle and squiggle around and make a circle now let's see what are your o words today can you believe it i was looking for an orange i'm a fruit junkie and i was looking for an orange among my fruits and i don't even have an orange that was disappointing but you know why I don't have one because I ate it oh my goodness I love oranges O is for orange oh uh, oh uh, orange what other O words can you come up with yes that popular O word oh the thing that burns and burns your eyes or mommy's eyes when he or she, she when mommy is cooking or daddy's eyes when he is cooking Oh, it's for onion. Yes, onion. But can you think of more baby friendly words than the ones I'm coming up with? What about owl? Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. O is for owl. O is for ostrich. O is for octopus. O is for omelette. 
Oh, it's for one, baby. Maybe one year old. Oh, it's for October, the best month of the year. Yes, October. I was born in October. Yes, what else can you think of that starts with the letter O? What about oil? Yeah, you probably put oil on baby skin. Oil, O is for oil. Yes, yes, yes. Send me your other great O words and let's connect, let's connect. Let's learn together. So we're looking at the letter O today, lowercase O, uppercase O. They're the same, same shape. Just one is smaller than the other. And our O words that we talked about earlier are going to be some of those words that we read about today in our reading. Yes, here is our reading, reading book. We're going to read this book as we've been doing before. The Wild, Wild World. Questions and Answers. And this is a Discovery Kids book. Discovery Kids book. And we are going to start with one of the biggest animals that can, well, this, this one doesn't fly. But it belongs to the group of animals that fly. And that is the ostrich. Ostrich. Let's look at the ostrich. Look at the picture of the ostrich. That's a huge bird. And let's find out if the ostrich is actually taller or bigger than you are. As a baby, sure it is. As an adult, ah. Uh, Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. Which are the biggest birds? The African ostrich. The African ostrich can grow, listen to this, can grow over eight feet tall, which is much taller than the average man. The huge wandering albatross well we don't need to know about the albatross we just wanted to find out about the ostrich and the ostrich yes it can grow taller than you eight feet tall i wonder how much is eight feet can you imagine how tall is eight feet mm? maybe we can line baby up right next to dad or mom and let him or her look up as high as he or she can and even when we do that, that is not as tall as an ostrich because we aren't as tall as eight feet. I don't know any eight feet people. I know some of my former and present basketball players are tall, like Shaquille. I think Shaquille is 7'7", seven, seven, but I don't know any basketball player that is eight feet tall. And the ostrich is. What else can we find out about the ostrich? That big, tall, tall bird that doesn't fly, poor thing. So, the male ostrich, get this dads, the male ostrich, the father ostrich, the dad ostrich, makes, um, makes eggs with up to 12 different females. <sighs> 12 different females. The females all lay their eggs in the same nest. The male then sits on them himself until they are hatched. Man, here's a lesson for you. If you're going to go around and do what the ostrich is doing, make sure you're taking care of your baby. Sit on those eggs. The male then sits on them himself until they hatch. Many types of male birds, including others, do that. So, there's another big fact about an ostrich. First, we know it can grow up to eight feet tall. Now we know it sits on, it has about 12 different types of mothers, 12 different mothers for its eggs. And then it sits on the eggs. What else? What other animal do you know of that starts with a letter O? O says, ah, uh, ah, uh, 
or if it's a long vowel sound it says its name O. now this is a popular one isn't it let's see if i can get my book situated there you go uh-huh the owl yes 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 the which owl is as white as snow arctic the snowy owl lives in the icy arctic the man's the male's feathers are pure white so it can't be seen against the snow when it hunts for hares and lemons it has feathers on his feet to help keep its toes warm look at that that's a spectacular animal it's called the icy it's called the snowy owl the owl o is for owl oh. why do owls hoot 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 owls make sounds to communicate with each other in the dark different owls have different calls they also use a wide range of sounds from clicks to grunts to hisses when courting some owls actually sing to each other can you believe that how many types of owls are there have you ever asked that question let's find out there are over are you ready for this 200 different kinds of owls most of which hunt at night they're soft they're special soft feathers mean they fly silently through the dark with huge eyes and excellent hearing they can scoop sweep swoop down to take prey by surprise 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 here's what's amazing when an owl eats its prey there are usually parts it cannot digest such as the claws the teeth the beaks and the fur and these parts are made into balls called pellets and passed back through the bird's mouth so the the owl eats everything no waste here no waste here it eats everything and then it comes back out in pellets is it true though that that an eagle owl's ears are on the top of his head so there's a snowy owl there's an eagle owl that we're looking at to find out where its ears are no the tufts are on on top of its head the the tar, tufts on top of its head may look like ears but they're only long feathers the owl's real ears are under the feathers at the side of the head what other old stuff can we see this morning oh says oh or O says O. What else is there for us to find out about the word O? Is there anything else? Let's see. What does our book have? Let's keep looking and looking and looking. We did the ostrich. Yes, we did. We did the owl. We did lots of owls. Yes, we did. And I had one more page of O's that I'm not locating right now. They, oh, nope. It's not there. But hey, wasn't that interesting? Lots of O words, lots of things to read about. Let's see what else you can read about. You can look for a book, a book that talks about different things what were some of those old words that we found this morning what can we find to read about yes let's see did we talk about an ostrich yes we did you can read more about an ostrich what about um an orangutan we didn't talk about you know what's a great read for you to continue with? Oceans. Yes, why don't you find a book about oceans, read about it, and then share what you've read with us. This has been a fantastic time with you this morning. 
I had so much fun and I hope you did too. Continue reading so that you can be a contributing citizen to your community.